It's your little mixed girl, Selena from the South. I'm personally so excited for this video because it's not a haul and it is not a vlog, but it is a DIY choo -choo firework. Anyway, I never done this before, so bear with me. I currently am obsessed with watching DIYs on YouTube, so I felt why not give it a try? So I did this morning. I went like shopping for all the materials and then I created what I wanted to create. So let's see if you like what I created that was underneath $20. Let's just jump right into it. Let's go. So the first look I'm going for is a sparkly vase. So I grabbed this vase from Goodwill for 40 cents. The next material I need is Mod Podge so I can apply the sparkles onto the vase. And I got a brush and a red solo cup. The cup is so I can put the Mod Podge and then I will stir it when I add a little bit of water like maybe a tablespoon or maybe less depending on the size of your vase. Anyway, I wanted to do an ombre effect, so I grabbed this red color for my base and then I grabbed this gorgeous pink color for the next color I will use after the red. And then I grabbed this white. And I thought all these colors would blend very well together, so that is what I chose. You can choose whatever colors you want or unless you just want one color. And then last I grabbed paper. As you see here, you're just going to apply the Mod Podge all over the vase. The paper is underneath the vase just in case any of the Mod Podge like drips. It shouldn't drip, but if it does, it's fine. The paper is there for a reason. And it also is there for all the sparkles that will fall off the vase because not all of them are going to stick. And then you're just going to roll the vase at the end on top of the sparkles that's on the paper. And there's still going to be sparkles left because I know it from experience and me watching the other YouTuber doing this. And she gave me a tip to save the sparkles. You're just going to fold the paper in half and pour it back into the container. And while this one dries until you apply the next color, I will show you my next DIY, which is a ring holder. So yeah, let's get to it. So I like the overall look on this plate. And I got it for Goodwill for 99 cents and I'm putting tape on the edges so I can add the sparkles. I was going to go for a gold but then I was like no I want it to match my vase so I was going to do pink sparkles on top. Anyway, I'm going to paint the plate pink so here's the brush and I'm just showing you you're going to paint it. <laughs> and then you will put the owl on top and glue it down. Looks can be deceiving. Do not use Mod Podge. Use 3600 glue to apply whatever shrink it you want to put on top to give that like ring holder effect. Or not effect, look. And this is what it looks like with the tape on because of course at the end I'm going to add sparkles. Now we're going to transition back to the vase. The first step when you come back to the vase is dab lightly the brush on top so then you can add your coat. Uh, sparkles. I don't think I told you this, but let the sparkles and Mod Podge dry before you add the next coat of a color. Or of the color. I don't know what I'm saying. I feel like I'm missing something to tell you, but if I am, we're going to wing it together. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and show you the next color. Like I said, wait 30 minutes. But here's the pink color. This color I'm completely obsessed with. It reminds me of Valentine's Day, does it not? And at the top, at the end, all I did was add more Mod Podge and made the rest of the top white. And then, yeah, that's how you finish your look. And it was underneath $5 for this unique piece. <laughs> Next DIY was so cute and super cheap and I was inspired by my friend's Snapchat so that's the photo I used from her Snapchat. I got this mug for 25 cents from Goodwill and I already had these two Sharpies. I'm not much of an artist but at the end I felt like I did pretty good. Oh my gosh so let me tell you I found this jewel on my ground and I felt like well reuse recycle so I used Mod Podge to add it at the end for a cute little nose. So here is the ending products. The vase does need a second coat of sparkles, but here's my cute little kitty mug and my ring holder. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and like I said, it was all underneath $20, and it was just a cute and fun way to kill time. And like, comment anything you actually did like, and if you didn't, well, dang, I'm not as artistic as I thought I was. <laughs>
Yeah. If okay. you liked all of them, give it a big thumbs up. Other than that, subscribe to my channel and yeah, let's do my outro. See you later, alligator. Bye.